he just really hurt me. You know, sometimes I, in this room, I feel his presence because he used to be in this room a lot. And he just hasn't been in here for like two years. And it's like morning. It's like morning, someone. Because like you miss them. You miss them all the time. Not every day, but you miss them a lot. You miss them a lot. And like, the way I loved him was so deep that it's almost I think like, will I ever love anybody that much again? And I just hope that someone will love me like that. You know, I just want that sort of love. I dream about someone really, really loving me and vice versa. I love them. And we just have a beautiful, 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 beautiful bond. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lani Good. If this is the first time you're at my channel, then please subscribe. Please check out my other videos. Um, if you've been here before, then thanks girl. Oh, thanks guy. Thanks for coming back. Um, so yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, also, excuse me, I wanna get a discussion going down to down there in the comments below so if you look can relate to anything i say then make sure you oh that curl isn't popping if you guys can like relate to anything i say then you know make sure you comment and um talk about your experiences i need water to do this video to be fair i don't even know why i don't have water but um i felt inspired to do this video this video is about um heartbreak and I just hope that this video can help somebody like I feel like it's not gonna help any guys because two guys get heartbroken nah it's like a girl thing right guys don't care guys don't have feelings guys don't get caught up okay so I'm gonna do a part two because this is gonna be I'm not gonna say everything I want to say it's impossible so I'm definitely gonna do a part two so part one is today heartbreak <laughs> like let's be real it's not nice is it it's a uh, fucking piss take it is awful um it's, it's a lot and um i would say i've been heartbroken i think twice i think um, the first one i just you have to laugh because when you get older and you think about it it's like oh it's that heartbreak <laughs> Yeah, the first one. What, what was that? Like, nah. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the keys off, but that was just BS. Like, no, no, no. I, I just, I don't know. I just, no. You, I, I really cared for him and I loved him and stuff, but there was something missing um, between us. Like, they, especially from his side. Like, he just was he just never gave me that feeling that i was really and truly the one for him like i felt like for a long time he was doing me a favor by being with me that's how he made me feel okay I, i'm gonna be real um, my first love i did a thing with his friend <laughs> I should have laughed. I didn't think with his friend. I was young. I was I was like 20, like allow me. Um for a year. I said thing with his friend for a year. Can you imagine who does that? What a Jezebel I was. But yeah, and then I went back to him and like I really cared for him and the reason I did it is because I was being petty and I was being childish because we we had did a thing and then it didn't work out. Oh god, sorry, my hair. It didn't work out too tough, so then we because it didn't work out too tough, I then decided to get revenge by going out of his mate or dealing with his mate, whatever. We were official, but you know, he wouldn't say that now nah, because I'm back to his friend. Oh, it's just a drama. It's what, like, he always made me feel like you're so lucky that I've given you another chance. Shit. So because of that, um, there was just never, like, he could never let his guard down with me. So I could never let my guard down with him. So... What well, the heartbreak was just minor, but let's just cat. Let's let's. So I'm not gonna talk about that, but let's fast forward to real heartbreak. Um, 
too bad. I need to. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I was like 25. Um, I met this boy. Oh my god, it's like a dream. It's like a dream. It was only a year, but it's like a dream. It's like surreal because we don't talk anymore, obviously. But it's like, did that really happen? Did that Was that person in my life? Because we don't communicate at all. We don't talk at all. Um, God, like, look, I've, my, my demeanor's changed. I can't even um, talk about him. It's, I, this video is a bit too early. Like, me talking about this is mad. I think it's too early for me because I'm... I feel like I'm damaged goods because of what I went through with him. Because, like, you know... Oh, sorry. God, I'm getting emotional. Sometimes she happens to you and it's like, it's... Lives with you for... It will live with you for a long time. Oh my God, look. I knew this would happen. And it will live with you probably... I don't know because it's only been two years. So I don't know if it will live with me forever or whether when I meet... Um, when I, If I fall in love again with someone, like, my pain will be... My pain will disappear, but... Um, your experiences make you who you are as a person, so, sorry, when, um, because of what I went through with him, like, I physically can't get hurt, like, I can't allow someone to hurt me, so, um, when something bad happens, whereas before I would have, mm, I had, I was more resilient, so, I could chill with a guy that, like, maybe pissed me off a little bit and all that jazz, and I could deal with it. Whereas now, if somebody um, does something to, like that's a bit rude or disses me or whatever, or I see a message from another girl or something, it it like it 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 hits me twenty times harder because I'm already I'm not fully healed. So I'm like I'm bruised, so I, I haven't got any room to get hurt. And I used to be scared of getting hurt, but now I'm petrified. Like oh god, look, I can't let someone hurt me. Like I'll die. That's how I feel. I'll die. Like, at my lowest, I was, like, freaking suicidal. Like, I just felt like there's no point in living and stuff. Anyway, what am I saying? Um, how to get over someone. <laughs> Do I know? How to get over someone. Um, I would say, like, the main thing to get over someone is you have to love yourself and you have to rate yourself. And... You have to love yourself more than you love that person. And I think sometimes when you fall in love, you put that person before you. And af so afterwards, I had to learn to love myself. Um, so I started doing my hobbies again, which is like Instagram and stuff like that. Um, tr trying to get involved with, with them so I could be like distracted from the pain. Um, just focusing on like my little dreams and aspirations i've got so many dreams and aspirations so like i focus on that like put my heart and soul into work just stuff like that do you know what i mean you don't want to dwell on just like the negativity of your pain and your past so just put your head down and stuff um a lot of people this is normal but some people wouldn't believe it because i have a very sexy instagram but for the most part i'm usually quite alone um what um what i mean by that is i am not always no i'm not often i don't often have a partner so i'm often single and often alone um because i don't like wasting my time with people that i kind of like i only like chilling with people i really really like and it's not every day you meet you're on the street and you meet someone you really really like it's just like happens every so often so because of that i um happen to i'm a very lonely person and i I'm not with friends but with guys i'm quite lonely and i don't like get laid basically okay so i'm digressing <sighs> Yeah, but that's the main thing. Like, if you're heartbroken, you're going through something, you have to learn to love yourself. You have to learn to rate yourself. Being a pathetic um, person who's heartbroken and crying over somebody isn't sexy. Um, I mean, you can do it to a certain extent. If that's the love of your life, you're going to fight for them. But you can't be crying over somebody for years and months and months and years and months and months and years. What's that going to do? 
it's not sexy. Winners are sexy. People who are out here doing bits are sexy. You know what I mean? People who are confident are sexy. People who are crying and like wallowing in self pity are not sexy. So you can't, like, I would say to somebody, like, if you want that ex back, I'm not that, I, I'm not talking about mine particularly because that's not, never going to happen. But if if your person out here thinking, how do I get my ex back, like, you crying over him is not sexy. Like, you just need to move on with your life and be winning and not be messaging him crying over him that's not gonna help nobody um <sighs> comparing somebody you love to new people is always something you shouldn't do but people do it anyway um i have definitely liked people since him i've had strong feelings for people since him but he uh, hurt me to the point where I feel like I need mending and I feel like I will never be mended until I have love and love doesn't have to come in the form of a man it might come in the form of a child or something um but okay I have literally been just jib jibber jabbering for ages I'm just going to get down to it because I want to talk about my experience personally with heartbreak not that it's that interesting but okay so um my breakup was very sudden and I actually want to say something else. I wasn't even in a relationship with this boy. He wasn't my boyfriend, officially. The first one was, the second one wasn't. He, um... We were just seeing each other, but we were seeing each other for a year. And it was a relate, basically... It, this is my opinion, you know? He probably hates me, I'd say different, but we were basically together without a title because I, I can't explain it I was like my life was very affected by this boy I wasn't allowed to do certain things I had to act a certain way do you know what I mean uh I had to what it's just oh, I can't even I can't even get into it I I gave up a lot for him I compromised a lot for him I didn't go out for him I wasn't be I felt like I was in a bad situationship a bad relationship um, it was a sudden ending, very sudden. <laughs> um, it w caught me off guard. Initially, I actually started talking to someone else to get over him, like immediately after. Um, um, and I thought the person was very similar to him. They were, they did the same job. They were tall. They were, he was a road runner. He was, he was like a bad boy too, the second guy. So I thought talking to him made me, I was over the first one, but it, I wasn't. I was just masking my emotions. And then, um, months later, I realized that I still was in love with him. And, uh, I can't even, I can't tell you a lot too much because it's dramatic, but it just wasn't a good situation. Um, it was like a one, I think it was a very much one-sided love. I literally gave my heart and soul, and I'm, there's probably people out there that like really can relate. I give my heart and soul and mind to this person. And he never really ever, ever, ever believed me. I feel like he always used to question how I felt about him and whether it was true. So to prove that it was true, I went above and beyond. Um, oh God, this is so embarrassing. Should I say this? Should I, should I say this or should I not? To prove that I loved him, I did something really extreme and stupid. I got, um, oh, I just feel like I can't tell you this. I did something dumb in it, something really extreme for him. And I did loads of stuff that was extreme, actually. It wasn't one stuff. I done bare mad shit, like stuff, bad stuff, like stuff that was detrimental to me my future i just didn't match stuff to prove that i was in love with him and it was never enough and i just like my entire life and being and my entire soul was about 
loving this human being, making this human being happy, being accepted by this human being. Nothing else mattered but this human being. So pathetic. And you know what's hard now? Like, um, like every so often, so like every three to four months, I'll like pre. So I'll pre to see if he's okay. And you know, most of the time he's doing good, but when bad stuff happens, like bad stuff will happen publicly because he's just like, he, uh, okay, in a nutshell, he's a little bit in the public eye. So when bad stuff happens, it's like it'll be sometimes it's obvious. People will be talking about it, and um, I'll like sit there and um. One time, the first time something happened, I reached out. I got a bit of reception, but not really. And then when I see stuff bad happen, I can't reach out because, like I said, it's like a one-sided love. It's not like he gives a shit. So he doesn't care whether I... Um, it's not even about love. Like, when you've loved somebody, like, you always think about them and you always think, are oh, they okay? And then when, when shit, like, when you look at them and you think something's wrong, it's so beyond you. You can't save somebody, but you look at them and you think, are they okay? Um, because, you, like, you know, like, you, or you think they're a really troubled person. Um, you just think, are they okay? Um, I hope they're okay. Because you always love them, you know? But you can't make somebody change. You can't save somebody. Um... <sighs> I'm sure. I um, wasn't. I felt like I wasn't good enough, but in every way, like I felt I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't smart enough. Um, he had a really good job. His his occupation was good. He was a very popular boy, and he was he had way more. He had like quite a lot more money than I did. Um, I was poor basically. I was in. I was earning early twenties at work, like early. 20s in terms of salary per annum i um didn't feel like i was pretty enough thick enough anything enough for him i felt like he deserved better and but i didn't feel like that in the beginning it, it, i started to feel like that as time went on um because i i he just wouldn't treat me nice and i just think is it just because i'm shit like i'm clapped i'm ugly i'm not good enough and I just, it just became this fight to prove to him that I was good enough. So I did extreme things. I would go to extreme measures just to get his attention and get his love. And it was never good enough. Um, when The way it ended was really abrupt. I didn't expect it to end, if I'm honest. It just ended like I blinked and it was over. Um, one day I woke up and someone rang me, and a girl, and she told me that... Um, she basically told me that she was going out with my guy and that just cut me so deep and I just thought to myself, how can that be actually true? How can that be actually possible? How can you be dating the person that I'm with, but not even just dating or effing like you're their girlfriend according to you. So, you know, it hurt so bad because I thought, you know, when somebody is your everything in your whole world and then they they uh, essentially like or have feelings for someone else because that's what he was saying he had feelings she had she, they had feelings for each other and they did all the, she told me they did all this special stuff together and i remember she told me that they went to dubai together and it just cut me so deep it cut me so deep and um i just couldn't believe that he had feelings for another woman that that broke me, that made me feel like um, I knew I wasn't good enough. I knew I, I, I knew that I wasn't pretty enough. Um, I'm gonna fast forward. A couple months go by and I'm good for a couple months and then I start to reach out because I miss him like crazy and he like no wants nothing to do with me. And then I see an interview I see an interview of him talking about how um, 
he wanted to the reason he was doing interviews because he does something that requires him to get interviewed but yeah he was being he was interviewed and he was just saying like how he wanted to like cut bad all the bad stuff out of his life and i remember that was probably one of my most painful um times i guess because i sat there thinking you want to cut all the bad stuff out of your life are you insinuating or saying that i'm bad are you saying that i'm not a good influence i would have done anything for this boy if he wanted me to go jail for him i would have gone jail for him if he wanted me to kill for him i would have killed for him if he wanted me to I was, I was so protective over him. I just wanted him to be okay. I wanted him to be good. And he had a, he had an attitude that was a little bit rough. And I just thought, you know what? It's cute and everything, but I just want you to be okay. I want you to be safe. I thought about him more than I thought about myself. So like when he said that he wanted to cut all the bad people out of his life, I just thought, am I? bad am i one of the people you think is is a bad person you know what i love you and like it really hurt me that he couldn't see me for me he couldn't see what what was in my heart what was in my soul because my soul was a soul that was pure um had good intentions and just loved loved him by having doing something quite unique and having like a fake conversation with the person so I'm going to have a fake conversation with the person now. If I could talk to them again, I would ask them this. What about me was not good enough? What about me was not lovable? Why did you treat me like I didn't matter and I was just a stupid bitch? Why? Is that what I deserved? Um, why? Did you treat me unkindly? Why did you, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> why did you hurt me? Why did you? Why did you not value me as a person? Why did you... Why did you make me feel like I was inferior as a woman? Why did you... See me... Why did you see me like I was not worthy of you? You know, because you do start to internalise it and you do start to feel like, why Why am I not good enough? Why, why doesn't this person love me? And like, um, I know he can treat certain people a certain way, but when he treated me like that, I thought, you know, sometimes I, in this room, I feel his presence because he used to be in this room a lot. And he just hasn't been in here for like two years. And it's like morning. It's like morning, someone. Because like you miss them. You miss them all the time. Not every day, but you miss them a lot. You miss them a lot. And like, the way I loved him was so deep that 
some sci-fi like will I ever love anybody that much again and I just hope that someone will love me like that you know I just want that sort of love I dream about someone really really loving me and vice versa love them and we just have a beautiful 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 bond and I pray that happens I pray that happens I pray that happens one day but like you know I just feel like I'm damaged goods because of my past and I just I can just all I can do is believe that God will have my back and it will bring me my print I know people's opinions shouldn't really affect you but his opinion really affected mine because I was it was my whole world Sometimes you just have to accept that someone doesn't love you. You have to love yourself and you just have to count your blessings. I always count my blessings that my, I've got a family, I've got friends, they love me and I'm gonna be okay. And I think, especially because I don't have a child, I feel like sometimes maybe the love that I dream of will come in the form of a child. Um, I'm still trying to figure it all out. I don't know, I haven't got the answers. I'm just a very broken person. I'm very broken you know what I mean I'm not okay in, in my heart um, <sighs> truthfully sometimes I feel like my soulmate doesn't see me my soulmate doesn't see my heart he doesn't see me and um, when I hear bad stuff happen to him like I'll hear bad stuff like he went to jail when I heard and oh, I just panic. I, I panic about him, I worry about him. It's just bad all, all around. It's just bad. Um, I'll be okay by the grace of God, man. Positive vibes. Anyway, guys, this is a bit random. Look at how like I had to like move shit around. Um, I had to cry because I, uh, I had to express how I really felt. Um, I'm gonna leave you lot to it. Uh, if you like this video, or whatever, if, if, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and all that. I'm gonna go. I have to go somewhere now. I got plans today, so I'm gonna leave you lot. Um, I'll see you in my next video 100% 100% my next video will probably be positive vibes <laughs> positive vibes everything can't be negative vibes everything can't be negative vibes so I'll see you in my next video guys thank you